something, it's automatic that other person have a defense. Then in defense mode, like they just want to protect themselves. So the first listen what the person is, you know, what what our men are saying because too many our men are dying over nonsense, over nonsense for no reason at all. So I just want us to, I don't know. I think we just we got to get back to protect our own community. That's the first thing. We got to get back to learning how to protect ourselves and our own community. So these things like this don't happen. You know, because you don't see the police going up into um, the suburbs or going in uh, Chinatown and stuff and causing chaos. No, they come right into the hood. They come where a lot of black people are and just, they already be on the fence like we are just criminals and we are no good. I don't want to do nothing. It's all a lie. And I think we just need to put more out there, more positive, more stuff that what we are doing into the atmosphere so we can change these folks' minds. Because if the media can change these people's mind, minds, we can too. And I think that's, that's, that's the first thing we have to do is just make sure that we um, take care of ourselves and our community and try to... Um, change these folks minds the way that they, we are put now even the, the music we just man we just, just don't just don't know how much damage we are doing when it comes to the, the, the tv shows when it comes to um this music we just don't know and i think um by this being father's day i just pray that we we, we get a mental check and we sit back and start do a self-check and what we need to do to make sure that when our kids and stuff grow up to be grown, that they know what they need to do to protect their family. And, yeah. So, that's what's up. So, I'm just going to go on to a song this minute, and I'll come back with y'all, and we'll chop it up some more. So, you think you were right? Bring it on, bring it on, prove me wrong Go put up a fight The way I do, the way I do will knock you down You know there's a motion between us Don't go cry about it, don't go cry about it You want me to take you
Yeah, that's the song called Give It Up, a new joint that I um, downloaded, and I enjoyed it, so I was showing it to, playing it for you all. Like I said, it's, it's Father's Day, have Father's Day, so all our mans out there, our uncles, and um, our men figures out there, and our mentors, you know, we all over. You know, you just go outside, and you, you see our men, you see some... um. Some men that are out there working, taking care of the kids, and especially the men that are out there that are trying to make a difference in our um, son's um, life. You know, be up to my kid's father. You know, they do the best that they can too. You know, they came, they have come a long way as well. And, you know, I just make sure that I, I send a positive note to them to let them know that I really appreciate them, you know, because without them, then my three little ones wouldn't be here you know have it always been good no <laughs> no but i have um grown and i have um really uh as i got closer to god and to i realized you know it's, it's not about me it's about the kids you know make sure they are good and stuff and Make sure that their dad are real good, you know, because it is their they dad, and so I have to make sure that you know I make sure that I I always say some positive and um about their dad when they're around, or to make sure they stay connect, they stay they stay close to dad because their dad plays a very important role in their life as well, and so we as women have to make sure that we um because I know there are some single moms out there that don't have. Um, don't have that privilege to have um their kids' father in their life because of you know something, you know. But we have to make sure that we make sure that our kids know that there are some good men's out there. You know, it is. It is some great men's out here. I have. Come, have come have came in contact with a lot of great men, you know, and so we have to make sure that we teach our kids, even though their father uh, may not be in their life, but there are still great men out there because you never know what may happen, or uh, maybe they just wasn't ready to be a father, or I don't know. I just have to make sure that I let my son know that, and my kid, my girls know. That there are still great men out here, and there always will be. There are more great men to me out there than I think more than what we see. You know, we just see in the media. We so we see so much in the media to the point where we think that there are not any great men out here. There are not great fathers out there, father figure, but they are. You just have to open your eyes and go outside <laughs> and get off in front of the TV. And go outside and see the great men and what they are doing, you know, because they are, you know, matter of fact, at the Juneteenth um, parade, at the parade, and you know, out there, you know, yeah, men's out there working, you know, make sure that everything is 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 great for the celebration and the parade. You have men's out there, and so sometimes we forget about that, you know, we forget that there are great men's out here, regardless of what. The media may sh um, show us uh, what we've went, been through, you know, because you now some men um, probably didn't have that father figure in their lives. And so that's probably why they are acting the way that they are. They are acting. You know, they didn't have that. And so we have to make sure we have a mental note of that as well. You know, I have to, you know, and I know, but I know that all great men out there, I see them every day. Um, I talk to them every day, you know, and I don't get into what the media say about our, our men because I see it for myself. Reality. This is the real talk one on one. So I see it for myself. So uh, I just want to continue to uplift our men and and make sure they are good. And, you know, they doing what they need to do to make sure they're family and which I know they are. And so, like I say, you know, um, 
And Juneteenth proved that. You know, just we have to um, improve that. There's some great men out there. You know, the men's out there in the rain. In the rain. Working. Every day. You know, I have one in the house, which is my stepdad. Very great man. He's, he's great. You know, if you find a man that will take care of a woman that has a mental illness and have the patience to stay there, <laughs> let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all, my listeners, <laughs> let me tell y'all, and you and my mom been together for quite some time, a long time. I think I was um, 14 or 15 years old when they got together. At first, I did not like the man. I feel like he was trying to use my mom. Very protective of my mom, which I'm still is. You know, very protective of her. But he didn't. He didn't. He didn't go anywhere. He stayed with my mom, and I appreciate him for staying there with my mom, knowing that the challenges that she she had, you know, but challenges that she had and still do have, you know. Um, he still makes sure that she's taken care of, and I appreciate him for that. And so that's uh, another great man that I see every day. And so I just want to um, encourage our men, encourage our um, even our, our little boys, our little boys. We have to, um, because we as women, I know women take the credit, uh, taking care of um, their sons and, and stuff, which, you know, I guess they should, you know. But I know that there got to be some men around in their life. But anyway, that's a whole nother subject. Um, I lost, I lost my train of thought. But anyway, um, this is live. I know it's live. I like it when it's live because um, y'all pretty much get to know who I am. Um, not recorded <laughs> live, you know. Um Shoot, I just want to, like I said, just continue to uplift our men, encourage our men, and bring them some, some, um, what's the word? Some peace and some, you know, because we are the, the womb. We are that, that woman that can suffer a man's heart. So I just want to encourage our women to continue to lift them and not break them down. Because you never know what what mental state they are in. Because our men too go through mental health. That's one another another thing that we do not talk about. Because um some men went through you never know what they have went through. Um sexual abuse as well. Um so we have to make sure that we are not the ones that's breaking them down, and that go with the men's as well. And so I just want to pray that one day that we um realize that you know our men's be men's and all our women's be women. Shoot, I don't mind being that woman. <laughs> I don't mind let that man be that man. You know, it's it's a blessing to see um some powerful men that that speak fluently, that think um you know have that another way of thinking, and and also can cook, and also think about his you know his health, you know, and just it's powerful. You know, we have and we have come from a long way. We have, have come from some powerful men. Come from some a powerful men. We see the powerful men as well, you know. And so we just got to stop. I wish we just stop, you know, getting into what the media say about our men because it's, it's some of it, you know, um, could be true, but some of it, not not all of it. I say about one percent of it. How about that? <laughs> it's um, it's true, you know. Like I said, because our men are not perfect. They're not perfect. They gonna um. You know, they're going to make some mistakes and stuff. They're going to make some mistakes. And we have to allow them to make those mistakes and not to um, prosecute them. Because I'm pretty sure the media do it. Do it. Um,